れましたも恩返しいざ打ち上げオールナイト炸裂するは企画一時必要な犠牲 And that's why I wanted to summon Miss Crane today. So it's been a few months since the last time I summoned this game. Since then, there have been a bunch of events and updates that gave me a ton of Saint Quartz. I think I'm at least 400 more since then. And because of this. It, whoops.、Uh, and because of this, I feel like I can get Miss Crane pretty easily. Now, there is the dangers of the very enticing banners, but there is no danger here. Because even before, the Saint Quartz were already hitting four stars. Now, I already have the servant. So, Hello there. <laughs> Now, I already have two copies of the servant. So, to be honest,、um, this is MP3 for me. Now, since I already have her and the three star servant, it's only the five star servant that's really the prize to get here. Well, back to what I was saying. Well, maybe. Oh, new servant. Okay, okay. That's pretty good. Now, that's exciting. Now, obviously, I've been playing this game for a while, so of course I have a bunch of servants. So the question is, is was she any good? Well, if I think about it, I've never used her. So I assume she's not very good. I mean, surely if she's good, she was probably on some other friend supports, right? Well, either way, a new servant is a new servant, and a new servant means rank up quests. And with rank up quests, that means more Saint Quartz. Well, that was enough of a tangent. So, what was I trying to justify before? Oh, yeah, the banners. Now, seeing as all the excitement from the four star JPEGs wore off, it's rather sobering to think that there's a bunch of excellent servants and banners on the way, of which I'd like to summon on a number of them. But given that Miss Crane herself is also limited, and apparently won't show up for another year on a banner a free to play can actually do, there's a nice bit of incentive. Now, of course, Miss Crane isn't for everyone. I suppose I can take the time to monologue to no one in particular of Miss Crane's playstyle. So, Miss Crane has large potential, but at the same time, is extraordinarily dependent on the player's current roster. Despite possessing several powerful support buffs herself, her greatest strength lies in retreating to the back of the line, freeing up an additional slot for another servant to take her place at the front. As is the case from Tactical Assault Man at the start of the video, This means you can potentially roll in two more support servants to further buff your damage dealer, thus exponentially raising their damage to extents that might not have been possible before. Wow, I seem to notice I am no longer getting anything cool. But that is okay. Just like the stationary JPEG, I am as cool as a stationary JPEG. I am a man who managed to score even on odds of 0.02. Now, I did have 400 chances, and that pretty much guaranteed it. And here I have a sinking feeling. You know, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about me. Would I really benefit from Miss Crane? After all, the value of a servant who will switch out for another servant will certainly depend on the identity of the latter. But I don't think I have anything to worry about in that regard. Why? Just look at my support sets. They clearly look like money was spent. Now, of course, the next question becomes Do I need Miss Crane? Not really. Honestly, I haven't had any trouble with this game at all. Even if I run in blindfold, backwards, and hands tied behind my back, we still have a free revive. But given that Miss Crane is a servant that can expedite and open up totally new playstyles, she seems like a pretty fun servant to get. But of course, when it comes to using a servant, I then have to ask do I need to have her? Can't I use a friend? And I think in those cases, there's much more value from bringing a second powerful support, or just a damage dealer I don't have. So, I know this has been relaxing and all, but truth be told, We've now spent over 100 Saint Quartz. And all this distraction isn't really distracting me from all the cool stuff in the future that I might miss because of this. And honestly, I don't really want to miss the Bobcut guy, and I'm starting to feel like I might need every chance I can get. But you know, I am nearing 100 poles. So, probability wise, I might succeed. Then again, this is a totally unhealthy perspective.
Yeah, okay. That's effectively more than 200 sync words wasted, so... 